What's up everyone? It's Ushan wishing happy new year to everyone. Hope this year will be good for everyone. And if you're new to this channel, then please press the subscribe button to switch to I. If you subscribe to my channel, then you will get informational videos about iOS tips and tricks and iOS video editing. So let's start with today's topic. Today's topic is about uh, how to create LumaFusion transition from the sketch. I already shown you the demo in the beginning that is pin transition or it's also called as radial transition. So we are going to learn this uh, from the scratch and it took almost a uh, couple of months to understand uh, how to make a transition in LumaFusion in easy way. So finally I find out the way to create the various transitions. So I will be dropping uh, various types of transition in coming up days. Uh, one request uh, please share with the luma fusion community if you like this uh, video why i'm saying this because i have very less audience and i don't want any big youtuber uh, or any big content creator took advantage of my less audience because uh, small youtubers works very hard to create a good content and to attract more subscribers and end of the day uh, they get very less view because they have very less subscriber and other big youtuber took advantage of their very big audience and everything gets spoiled small youtuber hard work so it's a please a request uh, please share the video so i can continue making this transition uh, tutorial uh, and it is also my goal to reach uh, 10000 subscribers in 2021 and you guys can help me reaching 10000 subscriber goal so so keep supporting guys and now let's jump to the tutorial if you don't understand anything please comment below or email me i will help you to achieving this uh, transition that is called a spin transition and watch the video uh, properly because each and everything is very new and i'm trying to teach you very slowly so you can understand it better so let's start with tutorial hey guys here we are back in luma fusion so let's open the app so first we are going to see the project how the project is looking so this is first spin transition okay it's so smooth now we are going to see spin zoom transition Cool. For that we need two clips. Okay, these are the same clips. Edit and create a reset. If you see the clips are the 4K clips. Okay. Now let's jump to the create a transition. Here I have created the preset. You can get it from the description. And now let's start with the tutorial. So first I will mute this clip sound clip. If you see this yellow clip, it stands for dummy clip. And you can see I have written something on it that is switch to I spin L 1.0 8 frames 8 F. It means 8 frames. And this is the left side transition. See and on second part of the transition i have written switch to i spin left 1.1 8 frame okay so it's clearly saying that you need 8 frames to create this transition okay whatever it is it will be a spin you can say it rotate or radial transition okay same happens with the reverse one see it's a right what i have written spin right 1.0 8 frame okay and same will be here this is zoom in zoom out okay this is left one this is right one okay so first we need to create a dummy clip let's jump here okay like this create a overlay title like this and we need 8 frames 
duplicate this and continue here so why we have created this to create the exact cuts okay like this before that we are creating spin transition okay then after that i'm going to show you how to create spin zoom transition just we have to change a little few parameters it's very easy now go to edit the first clip so first we have to make change in size parameter this is okay we have to increase the size till 195.3 okay same will be here so what i will do i will copy hits parameter and i will paste it here it zoom check 195.3 okay here also it is same 195.3 no change okay this is the created preset here i am showing you how to create it from the scratch okay here i have kept it for the references in case i don't remember the keyframe points that's why i kept this to show you okay so now we have to make a cut mark like this okay done so now we have to make changes in this rotate parameter okay go back let's jump to the create a transition i'm selecting this first clip what i have written we are creating left spin transition 1.0 that is 8 frame go to edit now we have already changed the size parameter okay to 195.3 okay i will tell you why we have increased the size okay now the main important part is here you will see i have already created the keyframes okay let's count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are total 8 keyframes okay see now here in the rotation part see it will change okay so we are going to see step by step what parameters you need to change it okay don't worry if it shows minus zero zero nothing will happen so first make a keyframe here make a first keyframe it will be zero zero then move second keyframe here is 1.15 degree okay then move again make a keyframe of 3.0 another keyframe of 5.0 10.0 degree 14.0 21.5 and 40.5 okay go back so now here we have created the first transition okay now go to second that is we are creating Spin left 1.1, 8 frame. Go to edit. Make a first keyframe point in frame and fit. Now this time we have to use minus, okay, minus 40.5 degree. Then move again to the sec second keyframe. 21.5, minus 14 all the points will be minus keep in mind that is very important minus 10 minus 5 minus 3 minus 1.5 and 0 0 okay so this will be the plus value and second will be minus value okay so after creating this preset now we can copy this now just we have to paste it here okay go to again here copy and paste it here 
now we are going to play it okay so it's very easy you can also save as a preset if you want to click here go to frame and fade and you can type spin r o t a t rotate okay anything you want but i don't like to save as a preset because managing the preset in luma fusion is quite complicated you can say messy part because many time we have so much different different presets so it get hard so best way i found it is by copy paste copy the parameter and paste wherever you want to make a transition it will be very good so that's why i create this dummy i make all the settings in the dummy clip and whenever i want to create another transition i just simply copy and paste it into any project okay and it's absolute work fine without any problem okay so this is the first part of the spin transition so now we have to add motion blur okay just go to colors and effect here if you see i have made the different different colors and effects see and all these effects are working absolutely fine and it's look amazing so i have choose one motion blur that is motion 20 okay so we have to make a keyframe here so to create a little uh, motion blur effect so first one two three leave three keyframe and make a keyframe over here and go to endpoint okay make another keyframe so first will be zero zero okay and the last will be 1.15 i have choose 1.15 because i don't want so much blurriness in my transition it doesn't look good and it look very very heavy okay so that's why i kept 1.15 go back now jump to second spin transition go to motion and blur make a key point at the start of the clip okay and it will be 1.15 and second will be 00, 0 after 4 frame okay so this is all about keyframe okay now i will explain you why i have increased the footage size to 1.953 let's jump to the last end point if you see these corner points if i scale down this little bit you will see the black negative space and we have to fill the frame because of this reason i have choose to increase to 1.95 because it's fill the frame aspect are you getting it so that's why so that's why i tell you it works good with 4k footage or, or 8k footages now let's jump to our this transition zoom spin transition okay or spin zoom transition okay so how i created this as see this we have created this transition just go to the first transition okay here you will see the same settings okay just we have to make the changes from the last point okay see keep in mind we have to fill the frame till the corner okay so we are going to do adjustment like this okay not to do like this we have to fill the frame like this okay now move here it's we have so much space here so now we are going to scale down a little bit like this like this okay don't do like this okay we have to fill the frame like this like this 
and the last part okay and the first will be 100 okay so now the first clip also be 100 okay see it's zoom now we have to change same it's we have to fit the frame the corner two point must be like this not like this okay why i'm saying this because it will not look good last will be 100 like this and make the changes in the last clip also make it 100 okay so now we are going to play it very smooth see so like this we can create a different combination transition that is spin with zoom transition so now about right spin transition that is reverse you can say reverse transition like this this is spin left now we have to create the reverse one just we have to reverse all the settings i will show you here go here so first we are going to play this see this okay it's right side transition so see the parameters what i did i reverse all the parameters see it's starting from 0 1.15 3 5 10 14 1.25 and 40 okay same thing here that is 4.0 1.5 21.5 14 10 5 3 1.5 0 0 okay so like this you can create a reverse transition boom so now play with some sound effect cool this is the zoom transition, zoom spin transition. Cool. This is all about how to create spin rotate transition in Luma Fusion from the scratch. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Share with your friends, share with sharing learning community. And please support this transition video. I will bring more tutorial on how to create a transition from the scratch. I have created various different different transition and I will bring in coming up days. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.